Hello Relevant Buildings folks, uh, this is meant to be a quick review of how to make some edits on the website so that you guys can uh, both finish up the changes that we've made on the development site and, you know, make some updates uh, going forward in the future. Um, so the first thing I'm going to cover here uh, is making edits to the structures. So this is the screen that you see when you first get logged in to the back end of the site. This is called the dashboard. Uh, this black area down the left hand side is basically your menu to access different parts of the site. Uh, I'm only going to be showing you a couple of different things here. The first one is structures uh, and that relates to, as you can see here by the titles listed, uh, the actual post types for your models. So for all of these. So here they're all listed. You can see these are the previous ones that are on the live site right now. I've just made them in draft mode so that they don't show up. These are the ones that you've already got on here. So to edit any one of these, you can just click on either the title or edit, um, click into it. And you'll see a number of items here. So. Um, this preview text, this refers to what you see, this two bedroom plus loft, two bath. That is controlled right here. That's what's called the rollover text. Here is the square footage. That's what shows up right here in this part. If we're not gonna be using the model anymore, this used to have a model number associated with it, uh, let me know and we'll just hide this portion um, so that that doesn't show anymore. Um, the rest of it is for when you click into the item. So you can see here that there's some Latin text here. That is simply this, this section right here. To edit it, you just click on, and this applies to when we go to pages as well, you just click on this little pencil right here, and up it comes, and you can... You did save changes here. Now that only saves it here on the page. To get it to show up on the post, you need to hit update. Let's see, this is the tea house, so we'd need to go to the tea house to see the changes. Du -du -du. Tea house 20, yes. And here it is. There is our new text that we just added. Um, if you want to link to something, you just highlight your text that you want to link. You click this little chain link button. Uh, I prefer to go to this link options under the gear. And here you can put, if you're linking to something in the site, you can just find it right down here in the list. If you want to link to the About page, for instance, you can click that and it'll at write the link out for you. If you want to link to something external to the site, uh, let's say, I don't know what you'd want to link to, but um, if you want to link to CNN, I would suggest going to the site first to make sure you get the link right. Copy it. You'd paste it right into this area here. And then I'd also just click this open link in a new tab for external links. Add it. Again, hit save changes. Hit update. Once it's done, we can refresh this page here. And there is our link has been added. And if we click it, it opens in a new tab just like that. To update the gallery on the page, that is right here, you would just come in here, click this, again it's just this click the edit button, and you just scroll down here to the bottom. Here are the items that we have selected for the gallery. If you want to get rid of one, you just click the little red X right in the middle. To add additionals, we click the green plus here, and it takes us to the media library. It shows us which items we already have selected, so unless you want to take something away, you don't need to mess with that. If you want to add additionals, um, you just click what that is, and we'd say add images. Now we can see that all the ones that were there before are still there, and we've added this extra one. Again, we'd hit save changes. We hit update over here in the right-hand corner. 
Once it's done, we come to the post, we can hit refresh, and we can now see that that image has been added to the image library, to the gallery for this particular item. And that's going to work the same way on the gallery tab over here or anywhere that we have a gallery. You just, again, find that gallery, click the edit button, scroll down, and here are the images. You can also rearrange them uh, to a certain extent because it puts these things together as a puzzle, so you only get some control over the over the view, but um, but yes, you can drag these things into the order that you that you prefer if you want to feature one uh, as the first image. If you want to, you can also change the text that appears on the form here for each one of these. Uh, I have updated these. They all have basically the same text except for this interested in, and I've updated this to match on each post, but if you want to customize this further or change it, that is just right here. It's called this pre-footer section, and you can see the text here. It works just like the other parts I showed you. You can We hit update here. Once it's done, we can hit refresh here. And there is your new text has been added to the form. I'll go ahead and delete that, but that is how you update that. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything right uh, off the bat in these things. I'm just showing you what I think you need to, to keep things moving. If you have interest in learning more, I can definitely make additional videos. Just let me know and I can, I can give you some instruction if you want or need it. Um, I think that is enough for this first video. So again, we're just dealing with the structures post type. And once you get there, you can click into any one of these and you can edit what it's called. Uh, you can change the rollover text, you can change the square footage that shows on that initial um, page here for the preview. And then here is the text that shows on that post, the gallery that shows on that post, and the text that shows up on the uh, pre-footer form. Thanks!